people of Beba. My heart is very heavy. And I'm very, very devastated. I did everything possible to avoid this situation. For the past few days, not even few days, for the past few months, I've written several petitions to the IG of police. For the past four days, three, four days back, when I heard about the violence that they were planning, I heard about the violence that APC Kogi State was planning. I drew the attention of the governor, but he called my bluff. I told the governor that I heard he had plans to kill me and that he had plans to kill my supporters. I told him I have proof by text I sent to the governor, Alaji Ayabelo. And I told him. But look at what we look at what we're having right now. At 11 p.m. last night, 11 p.m. last night, at the house of Didat, the commissioner of water resources, a vehicle was parked and there was ammunition. Guns were taken out of the car with some police uniforms into his house. We called the attention of the area commander, Mr. Adego Kerufus, and he said we shouldn't worry. That probably that is APC trying to protect themselves from us, the SDP. I said no. But we don't have anything. We have no con no, no authority. We have no powers. No God. We have God though. Yeah. At, at 1 a.m., I started receiving distress calls. I started receiving calls that there were gunshots, that APC thugs were going from house to house, shooting and harassing my supporters. Those we could call on the phone, we called that they should run away. And I, unfortunately, was in the process of NAC running out to safety that he was killed. I called the DPO, he didn't pick up. I called the area commander, he didn't pick up. I called the DPO, Okene, he picked up. He told me Okene was a different jurisdiction, that he was going to do his best in calling the DPO in charge of Okene. Then later on, the DPO Kene called me, telling me that he tried several times, but the DPO Kene was not picking. I called, I called so many people. I had to call the commissioner of police from Cross River around 2 a.m. Commissioner of police Cross River now had to call Okene again and said, you know what? We know it's not your jurisdiction, but sending people. There's a political attack happening here. We tried everything. I've not slept since midnight. I've tried everything. And I'm so, so upset. But I will say something. The death of Ojo Enesi will not go in vain. It will not go in vain. He died purely and solely for the cause of seeing that our lands are liberated. I don't think anybody should be killed because of politics. If we're all working together to save our future and to improve our lives, then we don't have to kill ourselves. If we're all in the same journey to liberate ourselves, we don't have to die. I tell people, I, I don't intend to have one blood spilled for my ambition, no. But this is the ambition of everyone. This is the ambition of everyone. I know there's a price to freedom, there's a price to success, there's a price to prosperity, but I didn't think it was going to get to this part whereby we would lose lives. Ojo has a wife, she's pregnant. This is his mother. We just saw the father in there. I don't think leadership should include taking lives because if you become a leader without the people, then you are not a leader. You're not a leader. I'm so sorry, like I said. I feel guilty too. I feel guilty. But as much as I feel guilty, I know I could be next. Because I know, I heard, it was in the office of Didat on the first week of this month. Didat's office, a few people, there's a gentleman called Designage. He was also there. And they all planned that from January, what's his name? Wahab Jimo, exactly, Wahab Jimo. 
from a baby here, in Didat's office, he was passing on the instruction of the governor that they must escalate violence to a point that is either is that instead for them to lose the election, is it for APC to lose the senatorial election? That it's better for I for there to be such violence that INEC will have to cancel the elections in this place. And that is the plan. But you know what I would say? As much as our hearts burn, we will not go back to them in violence, no. We will not. We will show them that we are peace-loving people. We know as much as our hearts are bleeding now, if we retaliate, then more lives will be lost. But what I would beg all of you to do is that we, we are going to put a very strong petition to the idea of police and draw the president's attention. We will tell President Buhari that as much as we love him, we love ourselves too. As much as President Buhari loves his son, she loves her son too. And nobody's life in Nebira land is worth President Buhari's ambition. We'd rather have ourselves here alive and well than to die for his ambition. I'm sorry to say that's the truth. So for our governor, to think that saving his name <coughs> before the president is what all of us know, that's a big joke. But like I say, we are peace loving and we're going to put a petition. This time around, we're going to give time limits to the idea of police to arrest everybody responsible for the death of Ojo Enesi starting from the sole administrator of Okehi local government. We know those who are perpetrating this violence and we will not stay quiet anymore. I would also let all of us know that I understand why the police are intimidated. It is not easy. It is not easy. The institutions are not independent. The police, to many extent, know what to do, but they cannot do it too. So as much as we're upset with them, I'm very upset with the police, but we should also be understanding and support them by standing together. The greatest strength in any country is the people. The greatest strength of Ebira land is all of you, the people. So let's stand united against violence. We do not want our land to deteriorate to that which it was in 2007. We don't want more bloodshed. Let this, let this, let Ojo's life be the last that we would have to lose before we gain the prosperity we want. It's not about my ambition, no, it's about pain. We don't want any more. So we go right now, we go to the mortuary to claim his body probably give him the burial that he deserves but we should not let this die down the petition will come up and we're going to hold the police responsible to exercise the functions of their duty let's keep praying thank you so much everyone thank you this is not about politics no. Let's go. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you.